Hello everyone. Welcome, greetings. My goodness, it's already Friday. It's been a fast and fun five days that I've gotten to share Spring Forest Qigong with you all. All right. So welcome everyone. It is top of the hour. It's Friday. Um, Friday. <laughs> And um, I would like to welcome you all to Spring Forest Qigong Every Day. Uh, my name is Munira Jiwa. I'm a certified um, spreader of Qi Joy. Coming from you from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm a Spring Forest Qigong master, uh, instructor, healer. And um, I have had so much, I don't know, joy. It brings me so much joy to be able to share this practice with you all. Uh, and to also watch all the other instructors that come and share their knowledge, their wisdom, their gems. Um, because this practice is so profound, it's so deep, it's a lifelong practice um, when you're, you know, when you start this journey with uh, Qigong and Spring Forest Qigong in particular. Um, it's, a, it's a journey of also just sinking from your head into your heart and starting to open up to so many new possibilities and how you can live your life with optimal health, optimal joy and happiness and creativity um, and fun. So I'm all about having fun, having fun in the practice and bringing this fun type of energy into everything that I do. So before I forget, I wanted to make sure I introduce your leader for next week, um, who is none other than Master Jackie Grant. So I think most of you, many of you know uh, Master Jackie. I met Master Jackie, um, I don't know, it's over 15 years ago. I think it was at a level four retreat. And really what drew me to her was you're just, she's just so, so deeply profound with her meditations and her essence of being. She just emanates really this really beautiful, deep, energy um, that you just feel when you even just sit with her or be with her you're you're just um, you're mesmerized and her voice when you listen to her meditations is just it's just mesmerizing so um, it's the great pleasure that I introduce next week's host uh, Master Jackie Grant and I wanted to find out first of all before I start today's practice if anyone did any of the feng shui. So I gave some homework yesterday just um, talking about how we can create space and welcome in new energy into our home by looking at our front door, which is considered the mouth of chi. So when we look at our exter external environment, it is a direct reflection of what's going on internally. So it is important to be um, mindful of how your, your environment is actually impacting your health. So if you can put on the chat, if you did look at your door or if you even kind of opened it up or if you don't normally use your front door, again, just trying to make that concerted effort and awareness that this is where energy comes in. If you never use your front door, if you never open it, um, then you're, you're missing out on bringing in new fresh energy, new opportunities. So I do have a routine myself because I typically don't use our front door to get out of our house. I leave through the garage. But if I, what I do in the morning is I wake up and the first thing that I do is I will then um, open my door, my front door fully, and I will just with arms just welcome in and just intentionally just welcoming in the new day and welcoming in new energy and blessings into my life. And then I have some chimes outside my door, which I like to just give a little dingle to. So that's my routine but also just looking at the clutter that can collect in the front door area. So um, just making sure that you can fully open your front door and welcome in the new energy. So please share if you did try that. And um, today what we are, I would like to talk about is we're just gonna connect with the water element. Um, so Master Lin, uh, when his grace and his wisdom has shared these five element healing movements and as you can see each day we kind of touch upon a couple of the elements and a couple of the movements um, today i did want to bring in the water element so that's just bringing in this um, element of water and within each of the elements there are specific vibrations of emotions and colors that impact and can help support that that system um, so with the water element, it's the kidney energy system, and we can support the kidney energy system, our life force, um, with this healing emotion of gratitude. So when you start to connect with the healing vibration of gratitude, connecting to your heart, you help to actually transform fear, which depletes our kidney system, our life force. So we learning to focus on these positive healing vibrations and emotions, which will impact our energy in a much more positive way. So I'll be bringing in the emotion of gratitude, thankfulness, connecting with that, 
Um, and also, I think I'll have time, I did want to do a little bit of chanting as well. So at the end, bringing in the healing vibration, the healing sound for the kidney system, which is, which is chewy. So it's like a chewy bar, accentuating the E part. So when we chant, you can choose to chant or you can just chant internally. But uh, that sound, that vibration, it's so powerful. It just penetrates deep into every cell. And it's so powerful helping, again, to support our kidney system. But it also helps to support your entire organ system as well. So that is what I wanted to talk about for today. And we'll bring our practice in. I want you to experience a flow practice. And if you, if you like uh, experiencing longer flows, and I'd also like to invite you to my free pop-up, which I offer periodically. And you can just check my website out at munirajiwa.ca. So with that, let's begin everyone with some gentle bouncing. There are many newcomers to the practice. So just remember, honor your body. Really, there is no right or wrong way to do this practice. Sit, stand, lie down. You can do the entire practice actually in your mind as well if you wish. So we will begin warming up our body and warming <clears throat> up our body with bouncing. And just connecting even just with this vibration, gratitude. So grateful for our community. So just think of our entire Qigong community connecting together in this practice, their feet shoulder width apart, We're creating a healing circle, a healing chi circle. And let's begin our bouncing. Feet are connected to the ground. Bring your awareness to your knees as you bounce. And you breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Bringing arms up over the head and letting go of any tension, releasing any tension in your hands, your wrists, letting go of that grasp that we tend to hold on to, we don't even realize sometimes. So let go of the wrists, let them flop, soften the shoulders. And again, remembering you can bring the arms down to where it's comfortable for you if you have any restrictions in range of movement. And you can just visualize your arms up all the way, but keeping them in a range that feels good for you. Getting into a nice rhythmic, this rhythm as you're bouncing, helping to strengthen your immune system, or helping to transform any stuck or stagnant energy warming up our body, preparing it for our practice. Let's bring the arms down, gently rotating right and left. Imagining yourself as a child, five, six years old, playing outside, springtime, nice sunny day. And bringing in that youthful curiosity and joyfulness into the practice. Each time you practice, it's a new practice for you. Transforming chi blockages, getting our energy to flow more smoothly and harmoniously. And as our energy flows well, we feel well. We can return back to our natural state of wellness, slowing down the bouncing. Tapping, cupping energy points. We'll start underneath the eyes. Again, you can use your thumb knuckle or you can use index and middle finger. Relax the shoulders, smiling, breathing into the belly, tapping the stomach energy point. Then moving to the bladder energy point, the beginning of your eyebrows.
forming a cup as you cup the top of your head. Then cupping the base of the head. Massaging the C7 at the base of the neck. So seventh cervical vertebra, the one that sticks out the most. You can either massage in a circular way or up and down. I like to place my thumb and index on either side. So you gently massage. Activating your heart points in the middle of the palms by clapping. Cupping the inside of the elbows. <clears throat> Cupping the armpits. Loose fists tapping your tailbone and sacrum. Tapping the hip points. And then doing the exercise I showed a couple days ago, just interlocking fingers, relax the shoulders, activating those energy points, the web spacing of your fingers, which correspond to your spine. Focusing on your spine as you do this movement. You may start to notice some warmth or tingling in certain sections of your spine. So you activate this intelligence within our body, this chi, which knows what to do to help yourself to heal. And bringing the hands down by your sides. Settling into your chi stance, feet are connected to the ground, knees are soft, and your spine is nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back and down, elbows are out and fingers are open. You can chant song as we get into our chi stance and enter qigong relaxation. So 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 relax our body, relax our mind. Resting your tongue at the roof of your mouth, just behind your front top teeth. And you're breathing in and out through the nose now. A gentle inner smile, the Mona Lisa-like smile. Smiling energy helping to release endorphins, helping you to relax your body even further. The smile in your heart to activate your internal love engine, bringing your awareness to your lower Dan Tian, the energy center which is located deep behind your navel, behind your belly button. Visualizing a soft light shining in your lower Dan Tian. It's okay if you can't see this light, you just say so in your mind. Wherever your mind goes, energy flows. Bringing your awareness to your Lord Antian and to your breath. Deep and gentle breaths in. As you exhale, you feel your shoulders are sinking down to the ground. Feel that space that you're creating between the ears and the shoulders. 
as you notice your physical body, you notice your heart, your mind, your spirit are all right here with you. Feel the connection. As you focus on that light in your lower Dantian, set your intention for your practice today. As you tell the universe what you want. An intention sets energy into motion. As you bring that light from your lower Dantian to your middle Dantian in your heart center area, As you breathe into your middle Dantian, we connect with the unconditional love that's within us. We connect with source energy. So we say the password in our minds. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. You feel the stillness, feel the quietness as your body and the universe merges together. So you call upon your master's energy, spiritual guide, teacher, mentors, anyone for whom you have great respect, representing highly purified energy, you visualize your master's energy, the universal energy, as that brilliant sun in the center of the sky, sending beams of light to your heart center. Feeling your heart being filled with so much unconditional love. inviting anyone in need of healing and balancing energy to energetically join us in our powerful healing chi circle. As you bring your right hand, your palm will face your upper chest. Your left hand, your palm will face your navel. Visualizing a transparent column of light inside of your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your torso. Continue to take in slow and gentle deep breaths. Feeling your spine lengthening and aligning. So we move to the moving of yin and yang, taking your top hand and moving it out, down, away from the body. Your inside hand slowly moves up the torso. Can move within a range that feels good for you. Keeping the fingers open. The slower that you move, the better it allows you to feel. Bringing your awareness to the feeling of the flow of energy with your hands. So you connect with the healing emotion of happiness, helping to support our liver energy system. So we bring to mind the things in our life that make us happy, that brings a smile to our face. Connecting with this vibration of happiness, 
breathing in happiness through every pore of our skin. And allowing this happy vibration to travel throughout our body. With each exhale, you are transforming any chi blockages in your body into beautiful light or mist, which leaves your body upon each exhale, returning back to the ends of the universe. Breathing in happiness. As you slowly complete the cycle, ending with both palms facing your navel, female's right hand in and left hand out. Opposite for males, left hand in and right hand out. Breathing into your lower down tian. Exhale, release. So you move to connecting with your heart's energy, connecting your fingertips and thumb tips, gentle pressure, space between the palms, and resting your thumbs at your sternum. We move into our gratitude practice. Bringing your awareness to your heart center. As we inhale with a gentle bow, exhaling as you straighten. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Moving within a range again that feels comfortable for you. As you bring your awareness to the healing emotion of gratitude. Helping to support our kidney energy system. As you bring to mind, bring to heart the things in your life that you are so grateful for. from your heart saying thank you for all the blessings in our lives whatever you focus on magnifies as we train ourselves to focus on these positive healing emotions impacting our energy flow in a much more positive way. Turning that gratitude inwards. As we say thank you to ourselves. That smiling energy act of loving kindness. So we have a kind internal dialogue with our bodies, feeling so grateful, and thanking all our organ systems, thanking our bones, our muscles, our tissues, Your body appreciates being appreciated. It's trying to cultivate this act of internal loving kindness towards ourselves. And your entire body being bathed in this vibration of gratitude. We slowly complete 
the movement practice, keeping your hands at heart center, focusing on your heart center as we chant the healing sound of Chui. Chanting from your heart. Breathing in gratitude, chanting on the exhale at your own comfortable pace. Chui. Chui. Feeling this vibration of gratitude blessing your entire body, a vibration blessing your home, your environment, your families. As we come now to the ending of our meditation, harvesting the chi, bringing your awareness inwards. As we visualize that energy ball that our Lord Dan Tian is now spinning faster and faster, getting brighter and brighter and smaller and smaller, turning into that small, happy energy pill, the Dan, which we tuck in deep behind our navel. Please take three gentle deep breaths now. As you bring your awareness back to your room, back to your body, and doing our soothing exercises, coming out of the meditation, rubbing the hands together, and in between the fingers, then massaging your face, that heart-shaped pattern, going up the bridge of the nose, across the forehead, and down the sides. Directing all this beautiful chi, this energy we've cultivated in our practice to all parts of our body, all our organs, forming a cup as you cup your head from front to back. Massaging your ears from top to bottom. And a gentle tug at the bottom of the earlobe. Cupping your arms, shoulder to wrist. And let's cup the tailbone and sacrum area, get a vitality. This helps to also direct energy to your reproductive organs and helps with mental clarity. Tucking your thumbs in, tapping your hip points. And then resting your arms down by your sides. So you take that moment just to pause. So grateful for the pause. Scanning your body head to toe. Noticing how you're feeling in this moment. Let's end with one final grateful breath in. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth at the sigh. As you roll your shoulders back and down, and we connect hands, connect hearts, together as we bow to each other in our healing chi circle. Thanking you all for sharing your energy. Thanking Master Lin and his teachers for sharing the wisdom to help ourselves to heal. We thank everyone we have energetically invited into this healing chi circle, returning back to wherever they've joined us from. Many blessings to you all. Thank you.